It turns out, would you believe, that taking stuff out of boxes is a thing on YouTube. What's that all about? And not only that, these things are imaginatively called unboxing videos. Well, it so happens, a massive box turned up at TMF Towers last week, so I thought I'd save undoing it for, uh, for you. So let's do an unboxing video. Well, let's start with an unboxing video. Then hopefully, if what's in it is what I think's in it, we'll fit them to the bike, and we'll do a sort of a, a fixing to the bike video. Any more about that in a minute. Let's get on with the unboxing. OK, so although this box says eBay all over it, it didn't come from eBay. It came from HGB Motorcycles in Ryslip. That's what it says on there. So uh, obviously they had a bit of an abundance of eBay tape. That's uh, using the right tool for the job. Let's get this box open, see what goodies we've got in here. And th these, I'm hoping, are Goldwing goodies. Oh, it's very exciting, this. I can see why these are a thing. Oh, let's not, let's not cut me TMF top, eh? Right, what are we in here, then? Oh, it's me receipt. Talk to you more about what these particular things cost in a minute. Something here that says, uh, well, it doesn't actually say anything on it, but I know, of course, what it is because I ordered it. This is a tidy for my top box or trunk to my colonial friends that are watching. We'll look at that in a minute. This in here, would you believe, is some carpet for the trunk or top box if you're English. This is some carpet for the side panniers. This is more carpet for the other side panier. Who even knew panniers needed carpet? And last but not least, the main event. This here, some new grab handles for the side of the bike, of which more later. Right, let's crack on. So something that I've very quickly learnt uh, since I bought the Goldwing is that everything associated with the Goldwing is flipping expensive, uh, including these accessories. This little, little lot, would you believe, came to over 630 quid. And before you ask, yes, I did pay for these myself. I get all my accessories out of my own pocket. And here's the invoice to prove it. And uh, just to give you a little bit of a flavour of uh, some of the costs here, the, um, the organiser kit, which I'll show you in a minute, was uh, 55 quid, which is a bargain. Um, the saddlebag mats, or the carpets for each uh, side case, 80 quid each, unbelievable. Uh, the uh, piece of carpet for the rear uh, trunk, uh, £100, would you believe? And the, uh, the grab rails, 315 quid. So, uh, yeah, total lot, 630 quid. Quite a chunk of cash for the sorts of things that I'm going to be showing you today. Anyway, stick around and stay tuned. I'll uh, stick them on the bike and let's see if we think it was worth the money. All right, easy stuff first then. Let's do these uh, carpets for the old uh, saddle bags, as they call them. Uh, so, I'm not sure which one's what, but let's see what we can find. Ooh. There we go, 80 quid. What an absolute winner. Somebody's making some money. Right, uh, so that one there, I don't know if it's for this side. Let's have a look. Ooh, nice. I'll we'll have to do something with that. And can he fit it? Has he got the skills? Yeah, he's got the skills. It's in. Next. Here we go. Another 80 quid's worth. It does say Goldwing on it, which is rather nice. And uh, it's got a little Honda tag, so that's probably worth 80 quid. Right, and that goes in... Uh, ooh, like... Uh, how does that go, then? I see. May have gotten the wrong way around. Crikey, how hard can it be fitting these things, for goodness sake? Doesn't fit either. That's definitely that one. And it doesn't fit very well. It has to be said. It's not really convinced about that. Okay, let's try again. Maybe I'm missing a trick somewhere. Come on. It says gold ring there. Ah, it does go in. It just goes further back. Do not panic. Right, let's take the little, uh, there's like a little toolboxy thing. Let me move the camera, I'll show you. Right, here we are. Look, there's the uh, toolboxy thing here. Let's take that out. So that's the uh, helmet attachment, which I've now worked out how you actually use. And there's a little toolbox that comes with a gold wing or tool roll. I've never actually looked in it, to be honest. But uh, some technical stuff that I'm never likely to use, but I guess it's handy to have it on there. Right, so the 80 quid bit of carpet. It's like that. Cool. Voila. Oh. <laughs> what 
<laughs> these things always happen to me. Thank you. OK, excitement is building now because we're at the proper action end. OK, let's get some carpet action going in the uh, mighty trunk. Ta -da. This, by the way, is the, the lead, the extension lead to plug in my phone for when I'm doing Apple CarPlay. Uh, there'll be another video about that coming in due course. Right, let's get this bit of carpet. <laughs> Look at that, nice carpet, nice carpet. There's gold wing on it, so it's all good. Right, and that's going to sit then. In there, nice. Needs a bit of uh, flattening out. I'm sure over time it will sort itself out. Let's just give it a bit of a bend because that is going to drive me crazy. Nice. Right, next, one of the main events. The tail, not tail tidy, the organiser, trunk boot organiser thing. Let's get that going. Right, here we go. This is the uh, organiser thing. Uh, let's see what it says here. Uh, to download installation instructions, visit the appropriate URL below. Oh, crikey, I've got to download some instructions. Let's, let's get it out of the bag first and then... Do we really need instructions? We'll see. Oop. Right, here she blows. Oh, uh, some little tabby bits. Perhaps I'd better look at the instructions. And another tabby bit on there. OK, so the idea of this is then, there we go, it sort of sits in the back there somehow. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let me go and check out the instructions and I'll be back with you. OK, so I uh, scanned the little code thing, went to the website that they said, and it just took me to a sales page, and there was no accessories, download manuals that I could find. So uh, never mind the uh, technological way then. I just thought I'd have to work it out myself. So basically, uh, the thing comes with four of these little tab things and a little screw, and then on the actual um, tidy itself, it's got four holes here with little clips, or rather five holes with little clips on. And under here, there are four screws. Basically, I've got to screw these into here, clip that in. How hard can that be? Let's crack on. OK, so I've attached the five little tab things. Oddly, there's a couple of screws left. That's always a little bit worrying, isn't it? So I uh, don't know what they're for, but maybe we'll find out later. Maybe we'll never know. But basically, the little tabs, look, there we go. There's one hung there. And then there's, I uh, don't know if you can see, there's one there, one down there, a couple on the other side. And uh, I think the towel tidy bag organiser thing just clips in. Let's give it a try. All right, so it's got these little uh, plasticky, clippy things there, uh, which should just clip into these holes. My only slight concern is how easy it's going to be to get at this stuff when I need to connect my phone up for um, CarPlay in the future, but more about that in another video. I might have a solution to that. So let's see how this works. I always manage to make these things look so easy, don't I? Come on. Up this, that swear words are really useful. Got it. Last one once this is done. Now. Bingo. Right, and then getting at the phone at the back. Yes, as I thought, a bit of a faff. OK, so I made a bit of a meal of that, maybe. But now it's in there properly, I think it looks absolutely great. And when I'm touring, this is going to be ideal for all those touring essentials. You know, things like uh, spare GoPros, errant hobnobs, etc. Right, swiftly moving on, new grab handles for the Goldwing. Now, uh, if you watched my tour of Wales with Mrs. Flyer on the Goldwing in the summer, uh, you may have seen when she complained a bit about the grab handles on the side of the Goldwing not being quite big enough to get your hands on. Let me show you what I mean. These are the uh, handles on this bike. This is, uh, I think this is basically a 2019 model year bike. And you can see there's nowhere to actually get your hands around these. They're there, but you can't get your hands through. They're physically quite small. And that's a complaint that not only Mrs. Fly had, but uh, I've seen others complain about that as well. So for the 2020 model year onwards uh, bikes, Honda addressed that by actually putting bigger grab handles on there. And the good news for people like me is, with the 2019 bike, is that uh, those the handles are retrofitable. That's what I've got in this box. So uh, let's open this up. Gosh, two unboxings in one video. Don't forget, these were 330 quid. So that little puppy, 115 quid. That said, it is a proper Honda part and it does feel nice quality. 
All right, now actually, superficially, they are quite simple to fit, um, but you have to take the seat off and stuff like that. It's not actually as straightforward as it would sound. So uh, let's give this a go. What could possibly go wrong with this one? First thing, open the panniers. And then you should be able to pull this panel off. Ooh, there we go. And that bit came out easy. Oh, hang on. I hate doing this when you don't know where the lugs are. Easy does it. Ooh. Bingo, nothing damaged. All right, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, now that's off. There should be somewhere. Uh, yeah. There's a big bolt at the front there I need to undo. Uh, I'll go and get some Allen keys and get that undone. Well, this is a lark, isn't it? Right, next, uh, you just sort of lift the seat up, being very careful not to scratch anything at the front end, I think. The idea. Oh my goodness. There we go. And there are some cables for the heated seats, so I've got to be careful. In fact, it's just there. I think I'll undo that before I take the seat off. So, this here is the heated seat connector, which I'm going to obviously want to undo, so let's just have a little look. I can get that out. Okay, so this has flummoxed me for a little while. Didn't quite know how to release that, but it turns out there's a like a button on the back, a tab here that you press to release it. So let's give that a squeeze and see if that works. There we go. Just got to be careful with that. So tab on the back, and then that thread through as you take the seat off. In fact, let's get that out of the way. Right, back to the seat. Okay, get the seat off then. It's the sort of a lift and wiggle apparently. So you don't want to scratch anything with these tabs here on your paintwork obviously. And then it's a wiggle and pull. I was being careful not to catch that bit of this that you just disconnected. Oh, bingo. Okay, so I told you it was a bit of a faff to get the seat off, and apologies for the poor audio in those last couple of seconds, by the way. I just noticed my mic had become unplugged, unplugged at the back of the camera. Anyway, it's plugged back in there. Hopefully you can hear me. Look at the crud under here. It's incredible. How does it get under there? I don't know. Anyway, well, I've got the seat off. I might give it a bit of a clean. But at least now we can get at these rails. One thing about cleaning bikes is you do get to know them uh, a bit by doing so. And... Uh, Interesting to see here, look, where the fuel tank is on the gold wing. This is obviously the top of the fuel tank. Sat nice and low and helps keep that weight low. Nice bit of design. All right, next then we've got to undo these bolts here and that should just lift off and I can put the new one on and then it's the same on the other side. Slight complication there uh, because you've got the little clip here for the uh, helmet uh, hanger thing as well, but it shouldn't be, hopefully, too much trouble. We'll see. Okay, these are 12 mil bolts on here. Two. Just take the chance to give that a wipe as well. Okay, here's the new hand guard. And Honda supply you with new bolts and washers as well. Oddly though, this time, it's got a smaller head. Weird, but there we go. That is a much better grab handle. So the original uh, heads were 12 mil. The new heads on the bolts, 10 mil. Very strange. That's not going anywhere. Why do people always say that when they do stuff up? Okay, so then it's the same again this side, but on this side you've got this little clip for the uh, helmet hanger thing, which you need to just take out. So. Uh, might need to just hook a screwdriver behind there and take that little nipple out and then remember to put it back after I've fitted it. There we go. Right, and the same again this side. OK, 
make a new one complete with the uh, little bit for that and again I'll just give that a wipe before I fit it okay so let's just think how this is going to go it goes back in there so okay, it's under there on there in we go right that's that back properly washes in Once again, that ain't going anywhere. Nice. Oh, all right, so that's the grab rails on. Uh, all I've got to do, all I've got to do now is uh, reverse the procedure to uh, reconnect the seat, put the seat back on, panels back on, tidy up, and then it's all done. So uh, I won't bore you with all that because it's just the reverse of taking them off, and uh, then we'll have a look at the finished item. And as if by magic, she's all back together again. There we go. Uh, that was uh, quite fun, putting it back together again. It was just the reverse procedure, of course, of taking it to bits, but I have to say, the hardest bit was putting the seat back on. In a way, I wish I'd recorded that, because uh, it was a right faff to get it back into the right position. But uh, anyway, we got there in the end, panels went on, it's all good, it's as good as new again, and uh, we've got these brand new grab handles on. So, absolutely chuffed with those uh, handles on there. Hopefully, that is going to make Mrs. Flyer's uh, life easier when she's on the back. We'll see what she thinks of them later on. And uh, also now with the uh, carpet and the uh, top box and the side cases and stuff and the little organiser, life should be even better on the Goldwing. So, uh, yeah, that was quite a, an interesting, for me, um, exercise because you just learn so much about your bike when you do this stuff. And I've learned that I don't want to take the seat off unless I really have to. Um, but a worthwhile addition. But 600 quid, quite a salty one. I'll let you decide uh, whether you think it's worth it or not. Anyway, that's it for this time. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't been to the channel before, I don't just do bits and pieces here in the garage here on the Mission to Flyer, but I do bike reviews, I do um, trips and tours at home and abroad, I do monthly bike news, I do uh, the odd live stream, basically anything and everything to do with motorcycles. I try and do it here on the Mission to Flyer. It'd be great to have you hit that subscribe button. That way, uh, I can see you on the next video. All right, that's it for now. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mission to Flyer. Cheerio. Not only that, these th 80 quid on the left. The saddle mad, uh, the saddle bag mat on the. Uh, oh, it's Angel Cake. Hello there, my little angel. Would you like to jump on there? Let me know what you think of these fantastic new, only for money. Grab handles. Okay, see what you think. See what you think. For my benefit. Oh yes, you, I do spoil you. What do you think then? Grab hold. Oh, easy. Good. Loads of room. Good. At last, I've got something to grab hold of. Cheeky. So you're happy. I do spoil her. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs>